I, I don't think there's any expectation that fixed rates are going to jump a ton, but I think this year is going to be a condo year. You know, that gap between the mm -hmm. houses and condos kind of, are kind of mm -hmm. breaking apart a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of supply out there, so we're getting a lot of frustrated buyers. Mm -hmm. You know, multiple offers, people going very aggressive. I do want to talk a little bit about the interest rate. Uh, last month, as we were, I think, all expecting for, for it to go up a little bit, mm -hmm. and it didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, any insights to that? Hey, it's Alex Yao with BMAX Select Properties. And I'm Dave Goodison with Forefront Mortgages. Now we have David today um, because... Chris is on the island, so I'm Chris Cornborough's business partner. Uh, the better looking one, of course. But yeah. With a beard. With a beard, yeah. yes. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy to be here with Alex. So. Great, great. Um, so as you know, it's February. We're uh, looking back into January and uh, prices are still going up. Um, we are still having a bit of a supply shortage, although supply is gradually coming out. So that's a, definitely a good thing. Um, over the last month, uh, single family detached homes in Vancouver East went up 2%. Vancouver West went up 0.3%, so pretty level. Um, town homes in Vancouver East actually dropped 3%, uh, and Vancouver West went up 0.3%. Um, condos, Vancouver East went up 0.4%, and Vancouver West went up 1.2%. As I mentioned, the inventory is really coming out, uh, starting starting to come out uh, towards the end of January, I think. So the couple of weeks after New Year's, people are still, you know, trying to lose that baby fat from the holidays. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but now they're a little more focused on this, and we're still hearing um, about a lot of multiple offers, of course. But uh, I mean, the demand and supply tend to come out at the same time. So, so we'll see what this year brings. Um, spring should be quite busy. Very busy. From our perspective, we're talking with a lot of new buyers that want to do the pre-approval discussion. They want to talk about what can I afford? What's the most I can afford? So I'd say that's what we saw in January the most was a lot of those discussions. Uh, and now we're starting to see people getting out there and putting offers in. Mm -hmm. So again, like you said, there's, there's not a lot of supply out there. So we're getting a lot of frustrated buyers, mm -hmm. you know, multiple offers, people going very aggressive. But yeah, I'd say we're starting to see a little bit more supply. Some of our clients having success getting places right now. Yeah. yeah. So um, on that note, actually, as uh, me and Chris actually discussed a couple of months ago, I think this year is going to be a condo year. You know, that gap between the mm -hmm. houses and condos kind of, are kind of mm -hmm. breaking apart a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of, it's creating a bit of fear with the younger buyers and they just want to get in the market, kind of like 2016, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about the interest rate. Uh, last month, as we were, I think, all expecting for, for it to go up a little bit, mm -hmm. and it didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, any insights to that? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question and something like obviously every, every day we're talking to clients about interest rates and where we think they're going. So I, I think the only concrete thing we can say is that interest rates are going up. I think most people expected something in January. Um, as to why they didn't move in January, uh, there's a lot of data out there, there's a lot of opinion. Um, but, but I think the way to, to, to really kind of frame your thinking around this is that you don't really know what the central banks are going to do. Um, so again, we, we're, we're pretty confident it's going up, but I don't think you can put a lot of weight in they're going to go up this month or next month, like now everybody's gonna say they're gonna go up in March. Probably will happen. But we've had people say they'll go up 2% this year. That was the economist for Scotia Bank. We've had other economists at different banks say three times. So that's a pretty big difference. You know, 0.75 to 2% increase is pretty pretty substantial. So yeah, so it, it, it creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress for people. So it's, it's, it's hard to know exactly why, I guess, is the, the message. It's out of your control from that side of things. Right, so um, the point of the interest rates uh, rising typically is, uh, the, uh, not the point, the result typically slows down the market a little bit. That's mm -hmm. what most people understand. Mm -hmm. However, typically when that happens, especially at, right after a hot market like we had, mm -hmm. or we have currently, once that, that announcement comes out, I think they'll, it'll create a, even a bigger surge of mm -hmm. buyers trying to get something done before that, mm -hmm. that interest yep. rate hit. And I think a lot of people now, a lot of buyers, are very well versed in real estate that mm -hmm. you know, they're getting pre-approvals, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that lasts a, another three months or so, two, three months, yep. right? So 
Um, I think the, those that time frame is gonna it's gonna be really busy in the market. I think. Yeah, I would agree. I would say yeah, rate holds usually you know depending with the lender, it's three to four months. So let's say four months out. Sure. And you know, speaking of interest rates. You know the difference between variable and fixed if we go back four months you know we could get a five-year fixed under two percent mm -hmm. and now it's closer to three percent mm -hmm. so that's a 50 percent increase right? Right, right still very cheap mortgage rates historically speaking uh, but that's a pretty big jump right mm -hmm. and so we were kind of anticipating end of december into january i think it was january 26 was the date that those fixed rates that were all, all those rate holds for under 2%, that would generate a lot of activity in the market as people try to really get into the market for a rate purpose, right. but there was no supply. Right. So n nothing could happen at that point. Yeah. Now the fixed rates are up at 3%. So if people are looking at 120 days out from now, you know, I, I don't think there's any expectation that fixed rates are gonna jump a ton, but even those incremental differences of a quarter percent even just even if the variable changes, that will get the market, I think, worried. Yeah. And I think that will push people to, to jump into the market faster. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think overall we're gonna have a or a really busy first couple quarters, I think. I, I think based on demand alone. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's in our business we see that cyclical nature where, you know, it goes through uh, a, a calm market and that's when people kind of do a refinance, get their house in order. We work with a lot of self employed people to kind of figure out, you know, consolidation or investment purposes. Um, and then we go through a cycle where it's a lot of pre approval discussions. And that's again, usually a, a slow transactional time for your business. Uh, and we've kind of had those periods. Mm -hmm. And I think the next one for us is going to be the spring market. If, especially if more supply comes to the market, right. I think it's going to be, it's going to be tremendously busy. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So, Hopefully uh, I did okay. <laughs> so tell Chris we don't need him anymore. Chris, <laughs> stay on the island. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next month. Thanks.